Hi friends, welcome to another Vlogmas. Today is December 5th, Tuesday, 12.30. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I have a hair appointment at one o'clock just down the street. I have to try and get out of this parking space um, carefully. So I've been at school. Um, most of the morning I had to get some help on my project, um, get some questions answered, and uh, kind of just get prepared for my presentation on Friday. Now I'm going to go get my hair cut and get that short undercut redone. Probably get a little design put back in it. And then I'm gonna probably head home um, and work the rest of the day from there. And I'm going to do a home workout today because I need to do some activity. It is so needed because I've been so sedentary the last couple days. It's just ridiculous how sedentary I've been. But you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do in order to get the work done. So I'm trying to decide what kind of workout I'm gonna do. Um, am I gonna use anything or I'm just gonna use my body weight? So we shall see, but I will see you guys at my salon to get my hair cut. Second. Always give me all the coffee, always. So something that I have realized as I've gotten older that I need to spend more money on self-care because I do value the importance of how I look, especially with my hair and my nails and everything because it makes me feel good. So definitely gotta invest in it. So she recut my hair, um, and so I have a tighter bob. It's a lot taller in the back than it used to be. Um, so she shortened it a little bit and framed my face a little bit more. And then we did, as you can tell from the ponytail, um, we did have her take up the sides um, a lot more. And so now it's all the way up to about the very beginning of the crown of your head, all the way up buzz, and then I had her do a new design on the back of my head. So previously my haircut was about here or so before my, my long hair came, but I had her uppercut a little bit more because I wear my hair in a ponytail a lot and most of the hair is on the top of my head and i do sweat a lot on the top on my head just in general so this was a lot more comfortable plus i just wanted to step outside my comfort comfort zone and the great thing is it's just hair it can always grow back i can get extension or whatever the case may be but honestly i'm really digging this little wild side of myself a lot more and just this version of self-expression um, if you know me, I kept a very, very classic haircut for years. The, uh, the Rachel haircut off of Friends. I had a face framing. I had very, very long hair all the way down to um, my lower back, essentially, for years and years and years. And I had long, long, long hair until I got older. And I got I reached a point to where it just, it just wasn't me anymore. And a lot of time we hang on to these types of things thinking that it's um, like a representation of ourselves and really ourselves have 
evolved into this new person and we're not just no longer that person anymore and so i felt like i needed a change so my hair in the last couple of years has just progressively gotten shorter and shorter and now we're the shortest it's ever been um but honestly i love it i feel like it just truly helps me express myself in a much better way and also um <laughs> as my husband says it it's um Classy down, party up, you know, whatever the case may be. But it suits me, it just helps me express myself and, and it fits my lifestyle so much more right now. So don't be afraid to, you know, change it up a little bit. Um, I'm not quite ready to change my hair color. I've never really dyed my hair. The only thing I've ever done is just, um, I've had it lightened, which is bleach, but it was still like my natural color. I've never had it colored and I'm, not gonna lie, that's just not something that kind of screams me right now, but who knows where it may be in the future. The next six months, who knows? I may have purple or pink hair. It probably wouldn't be either one of those colors. It'd be closer to like green or blue, but whatever. Anyway, or the color of this wall, which is pretty epic, by the way. So, but don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone and try something new. Um, I'm gonna head out here and change, um, but there, I think I have a chat I wanted to show you guys and I'll put it in here now. Okay, so I did work out today, for sure. I did the workouts um, for some of the upcoming Vlogmas videos. So I definitely did something today for minimum half an hour. I did want to go for a walk outside, but it keeps pouring rain and I don't want to be outside and do that. So this definitely counts for some activity. I may walk up and down the stairs a bunch of times listening to a podcast or around the house just to get some like lower intensity movement that I've been doing. But other than that, it's all good. Um, I wanted to talk about something real quick. Um, something I get asked about a lot, and that is how do you stay motivated? How do you keep working towards your goal when you don't feel like it? What what inspires you? How, how do you just keep moving forward? I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you is that you are not always gonna be motivated. And that is probably like the hardest thing ever because you're, you're thinking that maybe one day you're just gonna be ready and you're just gonna get going and you're gonna be consistent for the rest of your life. And I hate to break it to you, but it's just not that way. That's just not how it works. You have to figure out your why. Why do you do this? And you have to form the discipline to do it. And sometimes it means just starting very small and trying to be active. So like yesterday, I went for a walk even though I probably needed to do a little bit more, but I needed to do just start doing something and that would just help to start the cycle. And then today, I did a bunch of home workouts and I also told my social media that I was gonna be active. So that was a great way to help hold myself accountable. Um, and then tomorrow, I am working out with a friend of mine at the gym, so I'm actually getting back in the gym. But all of those ways were a ways to hold myself accountable during the process and also taking the question of, if I'm motivated out of my hands into I have to do this. So sometimes you just have to just push yourself over that limit and just go do it. You know, even if it's just a little bit, like going for a walk like I did yesterday, that counts. Start, just freaking start. You're not gonna be motivated. So it comes down to how can you create that discipline for yourself in order for you to can start this healthy lifestyle that you wanna live or pursue that dream of your choice because it's not just gonna show up on your doorstep. These people that you think are overnight successes, that's a load of crap, okay? Those people worked years and years and years toward that goal, where all of a sudden their accumulation of their efforts and their skills and their buildup and their content, all of a sudden gave them the opportunity to become overnight successes because they had this giant body of work and skill set that allowed them to have all the momentum to reach that point. So technically they were not overnight successes. They worked for years to put themselves in that position to be successful. So my question is to you, what can you do today to put yourself in that position to be successful? It's not just gonna show up for you. So what are you gonna do to be successful? That's my question to you. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna go 
shower even though my hair's done that's one thing i hate every time i get my hair done it either pouring rain it did two i sweat and then this nice little blow dry and hair filling it done is just ruined and i sweat through my hair so if you don't sweat on your head i'm jealous to enjoy that okay some of us sweat through our heads so anywho not, not, nothing you're saying they're saying. So I will see you guys in the next Vlogmas. Let me know what topic you want to see next. And I love you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.